Uh, is this a good idea? Probably not. What's up guys, it's Drek, and today we're going to try something very different, very interesting. I'm going to try grilling with this cardboard box. Let's go! All right, so this is gonna be our grill. I left it this way, I left the lid out kind of so that I have a firm base, and then I cut these vents into it because I wanted to have pretty good airflow. I left a good about six inches here, roughly a dollar bill's height uh, from the base to the top, and I cut off the part that had all of the tape on it, so this is all just standard corrugated cardboard and what we're going to do now is we're going to duck out we're going to grab some oak dowel uh, which like low key will smoke a little bit but it has nothing to do with our actual premise here but the premise is like how cheap can we make a grill okay, so we're here at the depot or home depot we got theodore out here and i found exactly what i'm looking for which is some square oak dowels here it looks like they're even longer varieties if i wanted to go with slats but they're not particularly expensive and i think that this will suit our needs just fine let's head back home dowel rods cardboard box So we've got our cold chimney here on some cement and we're just going to add maybe a dozen uh, coals to the top of it and then we've got a little lighting uh, area underneath and then there's only one more thing we have to do before we actually fire up our grill. First we got to soak the sticks and then most importantly even though boost is life, there we go. What are those? You know you couldn't light a grill without core classics. So we've given our coals here some time to activate and get going. We're gonna go ahead and remove our chimney. Set that off to the side. Again, we can't have any open flames, so we're gonna have to do away with some of these little starter twigs I had going. All right, now that we're where we wanna be, this is kind of our moment of truth. We've got our cardboard and some wet oak dowel rods. So we're gonna go ahead, surround our coal with the cardboard start building our grill and we've definitely got uh, some heat. All right, so while we wait to find out if our grill can stabilize, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna season three filet mignons. Uh, we're not French. We don't hold to the pepper needs to be on everything. So we're just gonna generously salt all three of these guys. All right, so I can tell already that while our heat is okay, we're nowhere near as close to these coals as we want to be. Rather than move the coals, we're going to move the sticks down. All right, so we've got our, uh, our smoking tiny grill here. We've let our steaks rest and take in some of this salt. We're not going to get a sear laying these on, and we want them as close to our heat as we possibly can. Let's, uh, let's just see what happens, guys. This is half the fun. All right, the journey to medium rare begins. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, so this was almost like smoking these fillets, and it took a little while longer than I thought it would, but we've got some pretty, pretty gorgeous. They should come off about medium rare. I've been keeping an eye on them, uh, filet mignon. Now, I do want to address uh, the main point here. Will this work? Sure. Should you add smoking pellets? Probably not. Uh, while these guys rest, I just want to talk about what happened with my grill. So... I already told you we lost one of our sticks to a uh, fire and then took the other one off because aesthetics. Uh, but if I pull all of these off now, uh, despite the fact that they have a little bit of, a little bit of odd juice on them there, uh, and my emergency rock, which helped me suspend, you can see that this could have very easily been disastrous. The stakes would have fallen had they been unattended because once the cardboard lights at all, it smolders. 
and uh, burns through just like that. So that's the same thing that would have happened to that stick. Uh, is this a good idea? Probably not. Uh, does it work? Uh, in theory, absolutely it does. Like this was 30 minutes of cooking time. Uh, we got a little bit of smolder on one end. The rest of the cardboard is very hot to the touch, but it had to be. That said, like Fahrenheit 451 is absolutely correct. So all we have left to do is dispose of our very disposable uh, grill here. Go inside, cut one of these bad boys open and see what we've got to work with. Let's go. All right guys, so these have had a couple minutes to rest. They're inside, they look great, they smell great. They've definitely got kind of a smoky sort of smell to them. And uh, I don't know, let's find out if our little uh, fun YouTube experiment paid off here. All right guys, bottoms up. take it back use the smoking chips totally worth it that bite was way too big for me but if I cut one of these in half man that was fantastic here what do you think come here all right Theodore just for YouTube okay say thanks YouTube oh man clearly terrible right Teddy thanks for watching I know it's not Nerf content. If you don't dig it, I guess leave a thumbs down. If you do dig it, uh, I'll be doing more stuff like this on my vlog channel. I'm really finding a lot of passion for weird video ideas over there. So uh, this one's going up on the main channel, but it's really just to like, hey, the vlog channel's still live. YouTube.com backslash vamp vlogs. Much love. Stake on. Drack out. Uh, uh, uh.